Okay, you're looking at the monitor to which is connected my Digilent Nexus to uh, FPGA development board. Here I have the Kestrel firmware installed on on the storage media that's plugged in. Now sometimes I'm going to pull this out because sometimes it doesn't initialize correctly, but we're going to turn on the FPGA. It is now ready. If we come down here, you'll see that it's waiting for the card to be inserted. God, that glare is nasty. But, oops. It help if I point the camera, wouldn't it? So we plug that in. Oh, and sure, and eggs is eggs. It didn't uh, flakiness. So I'm going to pull that out again. And as you can see, it's loading. And we see that it is actually, in fact, doing something. Now, what's happening is I'm exercising the command line interface by stubbing out the keyboard driver. So as far as the software and the display update is concerned, it, there's actually a human being typing this. Oh, the joy of unit testing. And once it gets to the bottom of the screen, you'll see that it scrolls, which is what we expect. Voila. And that is the state of the Kestrel input-output routines. Tonight I'm going to be working on the PS2 driver that actually couples with this, and then uh, we shall see uh, we shall see it react to actual human input instead of simulated input here. So that's the state now. Um, hope you like it, and uh, hopefully by Maker Fair it'll do something a little bit more interesting. See you then.